Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the point B, there is a nodal point load 20 kN. This load is acting towards the right side. The height of the columns is 4 meter. Length of the beam is also 4 meter. The flexural rigidity EA is given as constant for all of the members. This frame is a sway type frame. Because of this nodal load, there will be sway. The sway will be occurring in the direction of this load. So the sway occurs towards the right side. Now let us find the fixed end moments. Except this nodal load, there are no loads in the columns and beam. So all of the fixed end moments will be zero. Now let us find the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame. In this frame, in the joint B, there will be slope theta B. In the joint C also, there will be slope theta C. We know that this frame is subjected to sway. It sways towards the right side. So, totally the kinematic indeterminacy is equal to 3. They are the slope theta b, slope theta c and the sway delta. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the column AB. The column AB is subjected to sway. So, in the equations, we have to add the moments due to sway. Since the sway occurs towards the right side, these moments will be negative. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments which are 0. Length of AB is 4. Let us apply that. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta A will be 0. The moments due to sway will be same for both of the equations. So, we can simply apply this value here. No need to find again for MBA. Finally, in the column AB, we have made two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the beam BC. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments which are 0. Length of BC is 4. Let us apply that. Finally, in the beam BC, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the column CD. The column CD is subjected to sway. So, in the equations, we have to add the moments due to sway. Let us apply the fixed end moments which are 0. Length of CD is 4. Let us apply that. In the point D, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta D will be 0. Finally, in the column CD, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the joint equilibrium equations. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. When we add both of them, it will be 0. We have made the slope deflection equations for MBA and MBC. Let us apply them. 
after adding them we are getting this equation let us keep this equation as 7 in the joint C also there are two moments MCB and MCD when we add both of them it will be 0 we have made the slope deflection equations for MCB and MCD let us apply them then add them after adding we are getting this equation let us keep this equation as number 8 in this analysis there are three unknowns we have only two equations but we need one more equation let us see how to make the third equation let us take the column AB and find the horizontal reaction in the point A. When we find HA, we have to always assume that the moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. Also, we have to assume HA is acting towards the right side. Let us take moment about to B and find HA when we take moment about to B we are moving towards right hand side clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is 4 meter so minus 4 HA both of these movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive finally we are getting HA as MAB plus MBA upon 4 now let us take the column CD and find HD here also we have to assume that MDC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction and HD is acting towards the right side let us take moment about to C. When we take moment about to C, when we take moment about to C, we are moving towards the left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. HD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 4, so for HD. Both of these movements are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are negative. Finally, we are getting HD which is equal to MCD plus MDC upon 4. Now in the frame, let us apply the rule. Sigma H is equal to 0. HA and HD are acting towards the right side. So both of them will be positive. The load 20 kN is also acting towards the right side. So it is also positive. For HA and HD, let us apply the expressions just before we have made. Let us take this 20 on the right side. So it will become negative. 4 is common. So we can take it on the right side and multiply with the minus 20. When we do that, we will get minus 80. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. Let us add all of them. After adding, we are getting this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now we have three equations, the seventh one, eighth one and ninth one. Now we can use calculator and solve these three equations and find the unknowns. If you do not know how to use calculator for solving three equations, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 2, we are getting Mba. 
when we apply the values of ea theta b and ea theta c in the equation number 3 we are getting mbc when we apply the values of ea theta b and ea theta c in the equation number 4 we are getting mcb when we apply the values of ea theta c and ea delta in the equation number 5 we are getting mcd Finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 6, we are getting Mdc. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. Let us see the direction of the movements. For MAP, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MBA, we got a negative value. So, it is also acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MBC, we got positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MCB also, we got positive value. That means it is also acting in the clockwise direction. For MCD, we got negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Finally, for MDC also, we got a negative value. That means it is also acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, we are going to find the reactions. First, let us take the column AB and find the reactions. By taking movement about to B, we can find HA. By applying the rule, sigma H is equal to 0. We can find HB. Now let us find the reactions in the beam BC. By taking movement about to C, we can find VB. For VB, we got a negative value. That means our assumed direction is incorrect. Actually, VB is acting downwards. Then we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VC. Now let us find the reactions in the column CD. By taking movement about D, we can find HC. After applying this rule, we can find HD. Using the loads and reactions, we can draw the shear force diagram. Then using the direction of the movements, we can make the bending movement diagram. In this analysis, there will be no free movement diagram because in the columns and beam, there are no member loads. So, we can directly draw the bending movement diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.